Hello there, I am Tanya Windiger and I have complex post-traumatic stress disorder and I just came back from Sydney where I went for a conference and I am wanting to tell you this story because there's two ways you can look at it and I think it's really really important so I hope you can stick with me and listen to the whole video so you, you get what I what I am trying to explain. So when I, get it, when I started getting ready for my trip, I got my suitcase out and I have a cat. And every time I get the suitcase out, he gets really stressed because he knows what that means. <laughs> and he hates being on him by himself. So what does he do, being a cat? He peed in my suitcase while I was, while I was half packed. So I didn't have a suitcase. I didn't really have the clothes that I wanted to take. Off I go. On the plane, everyone's boarded, and it turns out the plane, just before it was about to take off, there's some technical issues, everyone had to get off the plane, we were like over an hour late, and so on, and there was stuff going on in Sydney, and then I was exhausted, all I wanted was to get home, go to the airport, and it's like, oh, the plane's again, an hour late, because there's storms in Brisbane. Anyway, we finally... Boarded, we finally left and the plane just kept circling and circling over the Gold Coast till it realised we can't land today so it went all the way back to Sydney. <laughs> so in Sydney they had to put us up in a hotel and so it was a day late getting home and, and, and so forth. So what I'm getting at is I could tell you the story that everything that happened, everything went wrong. Okay. And yeah, we could like, argue it has, you know, but I could also tell you the story and it's the same experience that I arrived in Sydney and I got absolutely lost and I met this Japanese girl and we had such fun because we were both lost trying to get to about the same place and we just couldn't work out how to get there and we asked random people on the street and they were kind of confused as well and they couldn't really help us because they weren't from the area so it turned out to be a really really fun thing and I eventually found my hotel and the guy there he at the reception he was just so friendly and really helpful and I got this amazing gluten-free food at the conference and it was just a blast and on the way home our plane got delayed a whole day and it turned out that everyone on the plane just started to laugh and make jokes and I met this um, couple being a student, I'm super broke, but we had to ca catch a taxi to this hotel they put us up for that one night and I couldn't really afford a taxi to this hotel but there was this group of people they just let me come with them so I was so thankful and it's like oh man there's really good people out there and they're really um, you know really nice just kind people and so I could tell you that story you know both what I'm getting at is, is both those stories are true both things happened but it's what we're focusing on I can keep telling you the story of my happy um, moments, you know, and I can go and see all my friends and tell them, talk about my happy moments. I could go and see all my friends and talk, tell them, oh, this drag, and everyone had to get off the plane again, and it was a disaster and a chaos. You see what I mean? It's, it's, it has a total different feel, and the more we go either this way or that way, the more we ingrain this memory as such. You know, I like to have this memory as a good memory. I, I want to focus on re remembering the good things that happen. And I met so many really nice, friendly, fun people and, and, and so forth. And I don't want that, that to get destroyed or ruined by some experiences that I had that weren't so great. You know, at the end of the day, everyone was healthy. You know, the plane didn't crash or anything crazy. Nothing... Nothing major happened, it's just inconveniences really. But it's the amount of weight we give those inconvenience, that's the important thing. Anyway, I just wanted to share this. Um, something to think about, I think it'd be good to, to keep in mind or be aware of that. So with that, lots and lots of love and rainbows as always. Bye for now.